Welcome to N49 Outlier. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about uh, demons. Uh, I'm going to first apologize a bit about my voice. It's uh, allergy season and mine are acting up, so I sound a little bit nasally. Uh, demons, what do I mean? Um, I'm talking about the demons that are in your head. Uh, the ones that uh, feed on all your negative energy and that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not talking about your uh, messianic demons or, you know, demons of myth and lore. Uh, these are the ones that are with you, uh, that create your negative habits and feed off those. Um, <clears throat> I've read quite a bit of stuff on sort of how to tackle them. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that, you know, to combat your demons you you have to go after them with a virtual sword and armor and you can't combat sort of hate and fear with more hate and fear. Uh, the only way to the only way to deal with your demons is to identify them and learn what they're feeding off. Um, not, I mean I've heard that you know go and use love and conquer your demons with that and that you know is partly I would say partly true but I think you also I think the key is really to find out what they're feeding on. Um, because if they have nothing to feed on, they go away. Um, uh, I don't think they ever go away completely. Um, you'll get rid of some, but there will be new ones that form. I mean, life is complex and dynamic and things are changing. And uh, a lot of my own personal demons have always been out of you know either hate or fear. And most of the time, it's out of fear. So if your life is dynamic and changing, you're going to encounter new things, you're going to develop new fears, and then you're going to conquer those fears. <clears throat> So, um, I, in recognizing a lot of my own personal demons, especially in the winter time, uh, that's when um, it, winter's winter's really tough for me. Um, that's why I ended up getting this tattoo. And some of you may or may not know what that tattoo is. It's an Ithalit. <clears throat> it's an old Dungeons and Dragons character. They reproduce by inserting larvae into your head and they take over your head and turn you into one of them. Now I thought the symbolism of that was pretty pretty interesting and to me it resonated because that's what happens when you listen to your demons. If they're feeding on stuff they're gonna turn you into whatever it is that you're feeding you know them with and you'll become them. Um, so I put it on the back of my arm. So I give acknowledgement to the fact that I have demons. Um, but I'm putting them behind me. I'm getting past them and I'm dealing with them. Um, and that's that's part of the key is you have to deal with them. You have to go and find out what it is that they are feeding on. What fear, what hate have you left out for them to eat at? What topic that causes you angst <clears throat> are you not dealing with that you're ignoring on a daily basis? That's what they're feeding on. I kind of liken it to a hoarder's house. Um, my line of work, I haven't dealt with hoarders, you know, directly in their houses, but I get a lot of the reports. Um, and when you read through the reports, um, you know, picture the scenario, you've got this big house that just has piles of junk sitting there. And the worst case scenario is that, you know, you've got dishes that are dirty, you've got feces on the floor from animals and cats and things like that, and rats start coming in and feeding and the whole house is falling apart. I mean, that's a worst case scenario, but imagine if that's your brain, right? You come in and you're not dealing with this shit, this virtual shit in your life. You're not dealing with it. And you're going into these various rooms and you're only doing, <clears throat> you know, you're only coming home and doing whatever and leaving. You're coming home and doing whatever leaving. You're not going to all these rooms. You're not cleaning up after yourself. You're not dealing with your virtual shit. And that's what they feed off that's what they come in and devour and the more and more you wall yourself up the worse and worse it gets and the only way to get rid of them is to literally go and clean it up you can't ignore it you can't go in there with a sword and start cutting stuff up you'll just big make a big mess you have to go in and find out what it, the shit is and literally and virtually clean it up deal with it embrace it it's like you know if you've not done your dishes, liken a demon to your dishes sitting out and it bugs you and you ignore it 
and it's like you know what you just have to go and deal with it you have to get your hands dirty you have to get in there and clean them all and then put them away in an orderly fashion and deal with it it's the only way you're going to deal with your demons it's the only way to put them behind you it's the only way to stay on top of them find out what they're feeding on and get in there and deal with it um, and you're going to have to get dirty you're going to have to get uncomfortable you're going to have to accept things about yourself that you don't like that's why it's there that's something you don't like that's something that you fear that's something that makes you uncomfortable um, and you know those demons will start manifesting feeding off that stuff and they will come out in your own personality traits they will be the voices in your head of negativity that tell you you can't do things that um, that inflate your pride in, in various ways that prevents you from doing things um, some of my own personal demons have been loneliness um, and feeling not understood it's taken me a long time to try and accept that I'm my own person I am unique and the only validation that's that's needed is from myself instead of always trying to fit in and always trying to find uh, a way of feeling valid through other people that was my demon that was my fear um, it still is to some degree I'm always still trying to look for something some sort of connection to you know the people around me um, I have some very good friends and, and I've learned that that is more sacred than having a lot um, and also dealing with being okay with myself being okay alone um, you know from an existential point of view everybody's alone so the only person that you're with is yourself so learn to like yourself learn to love yourself um, because you're always around that's the one friend that's never going to leave is yourself so invest in it clean up your house inside your head and don't leave shit out for the demons to feed on and uh, you're it's a process and it's not going to be like oh I've <clears throat> I've vanquished all my demons and they're gone new ones will come and you are strong enough um, once you deal with one you can deal with another and you can deal with another you're strong enough that once you've done that um, when the new ones come you hit it off at the past before it even becomes a problem there is always going to be in your life if you are dynamic and changing and doing new things there's always going to be a component of fear there's always going to be a component of, of uncomfortableness that's what makes you grow as a person that's what keeps the demons at bay and that's how you learn to trust yourself and love yourself raise the black on life